God speaking to over here. We are all desiring a harvest in our life. No one desires to be dry. No one wants to be sad. In your physical realm, in your spiritual realm, you all want a harvest. You are looking out for a harvest. But how does that harvest happen? It is a promise of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the Apostle Paul says the, the one who sows and who plants is insignificant, but the one who makes it grow. Uh, is the Lord. Shake hands with the neighbor and tell them if you have a seed, there is a harvest. If there is a seed time, there will be a harvest. Come on, tell a couple more people. If there is a seed time, there will be a harvest. Man. You are not shaking hands. Hallelujah. Come on, take their hands. Some people, as soon as I take it, they leave it. I didn't ask you to leave it. Come on. Come on. Don't do their hands. Some people are shaking it as if something is there. And now, since you have taken their hands, look at their face, smile at them. You are struggling to smile. Hallelujah. 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 The book of says that if your minds are one, if your hearts are one, you need to shake hands. Hallelujah. Shake hands, come on. Manas your heart needs to be one. Manas if your heart is one, you need to shake hands. Hallelujah. Look at their face and smile. Look at their face and smile. Satinya Barata Chiri can or lie in the God of the Manshaka than the Tolu. And when only human beings have received this emotion of laughter. Have you seen people walking with their dogs? They're very expensive dog. But you will never see the dog smiling. Hallelujah. None of the animals can smile. Have you ever seen any animal that can smile? <laughs> Amen. You might think that it's smiling, but it's truly crying. Only human beings have received the emotion of laughter from God. Only those people who can laugh, who belong to the human race, let them smile. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As you get out of here, now, if someone is pointing a gun at you, and uh, can you look at that person? He <laughs> <laughs> is seriously planning to shoot you. You burst into laughter, he will be confused and he won't shoot you. Shake hands with them, tell them, is there any problem that can be solved? By laughing. Many, many, many times you don't have a solution is because you don't smile at all. It's not my thinking. And the wise Solomon, King Solomon says that a, a joyful heart is a medicine to the body. If there is a seed time, there is a harvest. God gave this promise to Noah. Very quickly, let me bring your attention to that. 
അതിയായി വിരിവതമാക്കി ജെനസിസ് ചാപ്റ്റർ 8 വേഴ്സ് 20 ദയവായി നിങ്ങൾ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കൂ പേ അറ്റൻഷൻ ഓൾ ദ നോഹ യഹോവയ്ക്ക് ഒരു യാഗം വിടപ്പെടുന്നു ആൻഡ് നോഹ ബിൽഡ് ആൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ഓൾ ഫോർ ആൻഡ് ടു ദ ലോർഡ് ശുദ്ധിയുള്ള സകല മൃഗങ്ങളിലും ശുദ്ധിയുള്ള എല്ലാ പർവ്വതങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും ചെലവ് എടുത്ത യാഗപീഠത്തിൽ മേൽ ഹോമയാഗം ആൻഡ് ടുക്ക് ഓഫ് എവറി ക്ലീൻ ബീസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഓഫ് എവറി ക്ലീൻ ഫൗൾ ആൻഡ് ഓഫർഡ് ബർൺസ് ഓഫറിംഗ്സ് ഓൺ ദ ഓൾട്ടർ ഇരുപത്തി ഒന്നാമത്തെ വാക്യത്തിൽ പറയുന്നു യഹോവ സൗരഭ്യ വാസന മണത്തപ്പോൾ യഹോവ തന്റെ ഹൃദയത്തിൽ അരുളി ചെയ്തു and verse 21 says and the lord smelled a sweet savor and the lord said in his heart yan manushan de divitha mini bhoomiye shamikkatilla i will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake manushan de divubana baadhi pudha dosham ulladha for the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth yan nan cheedathu pole sagala jeevigale mini nashippikkilla neither will i again smite any more everything living as i have done ennu thana deivam paranjathu bhoomi ulla kaalathollum vidayum koyithum undagum and after that god is saying while the earth we need seed time and harvest will remain no god would tell me what I would have made what I would have made what they need and could come back okay this god is proclaiming a blessing upon a generation a group of people they will then the tirumanangale mulvan change you god is changing his decisions all together they will pray to you and i will not curse them anymore god saying i won't curse them anymore i will not curse them anymore i will bless them they will pray to you if i am in tagarche and i am in adhinaragathilla ഞാനിവരെ അനുഗ്രഹിക്കുവാൻ പോകുന്നു എപ്പോഴാണ് ദൈവിക അനുഗ്രഹം എപ്പോഴാണ് കൊയ്ത്തിനെ കുറിച്ച് ദൈവം പറഞ്ഞത് Institution. 
God has chosen some people to be thrown away. God has chosen you 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 in this kingdom. Not every grain of wheat will be sown. Amen. Amen. And there are many wheat again grown up in America. Till now, that your enemy was looking down at 
you. But let me see how you grow. Let me see what you will become. But whenever the water started to move upon the sown seed, what happened after that? Let me see what happens. And who was looking down at you? The cow was looking down at you. Amen. The cow was looking down at you. Lord, grant that desire. After a few months later, 
ഓസ്ട്രേലിയയിൽ മെൽബണിലോ സിഡ്നിയിലോ കോൺഫറൻസിൽ ചെല്ലുമ്പോൾ when i go to melbourne or sydney for a conference ah kudumba ma meeting the same family is there in australia pastor pastor yangale arimo do you know us yangale varunu vannu uk prarthichathu we were the one who came to be prayed for in uk australian prarthik australia ku pogan prarthichathu you prayed for us to come to australia they were the one who the lord opened the way hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord and the pastor the pastor yangal ipo manasilakunu we come to know ibudu the status ibudu the visa ibudu the karyangal onnu shashundam alla all the problems with visa and our status over here is not good america ki pogan avudte avudte our citizenship is much better we have heard that american citizenship is much better dubai ka the prarthana visham uk ki pogan the guy in dubai his prayer request was to go to uk uk ka the prarthana visham australia ki pogan the person in uk wants to go to australia australia ka the prarthana visham america ki pogan person in australia wants to come to america america ka the prarthana visham ini evada pogan america wants to come to america you are not going to go anymore buddhi hina ragade from the foolish kartavinde ishtam innada nu grahichollu but understand what the will of the lord is devathine enne anugrahikkanengil if god has to bless devathine enne manikkanengil the lord has to honor me or america venda you don't need an american or australia venda you don't need australia enne devathine anugrahikkanengil so bless me tamil nadu enne anugrahikkan pattu bless me kerala enne anugrahikkan pattu ethumarku parayana or marichane uyarpikke illa adine ullathu pole Jesus to his own house for a meal 
what kind of dedication he needs to have for Jesus. Now, if you like a person, then only you will invite them over to your house. How many of you will agree that? Now, imagine if you had a guest at your house at 12.30 in the afternoon. And you like that person a lot. You like them a lot. Oh, look at you. My goodness, I've been waiting to see you for a long time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you say to them, I have been desiring to look at you, uh, see you for a long time. No, but how is everything going on? And uh, that particular day, you had only run the curry, two curry with you. <laughs> Australian or lover. People in Australia, Australian or lover, Malayalam, like in the curries. The Australian natives call Indians or Malayalis as curries. <laughs> Don't tell it to anyone else. Hallelujah. They only had two dishes prepared. But they like this person a lot who has come. They, they came at 12.30. Let me tell you, within an hour, within 1.30, you will prepare five dishes for them. Because you like that person. But if you don't like someone who has come to your house, they came at 1230. Even though you have two or three dishes with you. Oh, oh wow. I was just getting ready to leave somewhere. What it means is, sir, please leave. I have to go somewhere. Only if you like a person, you will invite them over for a flip. Only the person who you love, you will invite over to your house for a lunch or a dinner. The Pharisee invited Jesus over to his house for a meal. He bought the best things, stuff from the market for to host Jesus. But Jesus came to this house. He sat for the meal. And at that moment, there was a sinful woman in the very city. She knew that Jesus in that house. She ran into the house. She sat at the feet of Jesus. Because of the conviction of sin. She washed the feet of Jesus with her tears. My dear brothers and sisters, if the Bible says something over there, it is true, it has happened. Now imagine if someone has to wash someone else's feet with tears, how much they have to cry for that. How much tears they need to shed for that. She was crying a lot and she washed his feet with his tears, her tears. She never prayed a word. She never requested him anything. But Inside each every drop of her tears were condensed thousands and thousands words of prayer. In our lives we come in situations, come at times in our life when we are not able to speak a word. In the moments of night you sat alone about your children, about your family, about the church, about the ministry and you cried in the presence of God. And you were just crying, you were not able to speak even a word to God. And the every of tears that fell in the presence of God, he heard a thousand words of prayer in that. And she 
she started to wipe his feet with her hair. ഈ സമയത്ത് at that time ആ വീട്ടിലെ പരിഷ്യൻ the pharisee of the house ഇവൻ ഒരു യഥാർത്ഥ പ്രവാചകനായിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ അവൾ എന്നെന്ന് ഉള്ളവളാണെന്ന് അറിഞ്ഞു he was thinking in his heart if he was a true prophet he would know what kind of a woman she is ഇവൻ ഒരു യഥാർത്ഥ പ്രവാചകനായിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഈ സ്ത്രീ ദുർനടപ്പുകാരിയാണെന്ന് ഇവൻ മനസ്സിലാക്കി if he was a true prophet he would know that this woman does not have any proper character yeshu avante chitta manasilaki jesus knew or discerned his thought shimeone simon enikku ninnodu onnu parayana i want to say something to you oral rendu kadakkar undayirunnu a person had two debtors hallelujah a rendu kadakkaril oru van avane avante kadangal elachu koduthu one of the uh, one of the debtors was forgiven all his debts ella oru vende kadam korche ullayirunnu but the one of the persons had a little bit of debt oru vende kadam koodudalayirunnu one guy had a lot of debts rendu perde kadam ilachu koduthu both of the persons debts were forgiven idil aare aarikum snehikkunnu but who will love this person more shimeya paranju etthu koodudal ilachu koduthu avan yes simon said who has been forgiven the most yesu paranju jesus said naan inde veetil vaanu I came to your house. Nee ente kaalu kedugi. You never washed my feet. Nokka. Look at that. Yesu aagrahicha paladum Simon cheedilla. Jesus had desired many things at his house and Simon never did that for him. Yesu aagrahikkathathu chodikkathathu paladum angeru cheedu. But he started to do many things that the Lord never asked for. എന്നാൽ ഇത് ഒരു സ്ത്രീ വന്ന് യേശു ആഗ്രഹിച്ച കാര്യം അവൾ ചെയ്തു but a woman came into this house and she did what the lord had desired ശിവൻ പറഞ്ഞു കേട്ട ഇവൻ ഒരു യഥാർത്ഥ പ്രവാചകൻ ആയിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഈ സ്ത്രീ ആരെന്നറിഞ്ഞു look at what simon is thinking if he was a true prophet he would know what kind of a woman she is അപ്പോൾ യേശു ആരാ അറിയാത ശിവോ യേശുവിനെ വിളിച്ച simon invited jesus without knowing well what a person he was യേശു ആരാ അറിയാത യേശുവിനെ വിളിക്കുന്ന ഒത്തിരി പേര് അമേരിക്കയിലോ there are many people in america who are worshiping jesus without knowing who he is Simon went to Sathi Uriki. Simon prepared a great meal. But Jesus said, "But Jesus says, 'Nyan de beeti vanna pa.' I came to your house. Nyan adri chaiyu nni yada kare garu. I desired that you would wash my feet. Nni yada chaiyu. But you never did that. Yada kare thodi kimo nyan karu. I desired that you would wipe my feet. Nni yada chaiyu. You didn't do that. Nni yada chaiyu. But her, kanna nni yada vanna kare garu. She washed my feet with her tears. Thodi mudi vanna thodi chaiyu. And with her hair, she wiped my feet. Yesu. ആഗ്രഹിക്കാത്തതും ചോദിക്കാത്തതും പലതും ഷിമോൻ ചെയ്തു when simon did many things what the lord had never asked for ബുദ്ധിഹീനനാകാതെ കർത്താവിന്റെ ഇഷ്ടം ഇന്നതെന്ന് ഗ്രഹിച്ചു കൊള്ളേ don't be foolish but understand what the lord's will is ബുദ്ധിഹീനനാകാതെ don't be foolish കർത്താവിന്റെ ഇഷ്ടം ഇന്നതെന്ന് ഗ്രഹിച്ചു കൊള്ളേ no understand what the lord's will is hallelujah hallelujah listen to me ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഹൃദയപ്രകാരം according to the heart of god ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ഇഷ്ടപ്രകാരം according to the desire of god noah ഒരു യാഗപീഠം പണിതു no a built an altar unto god ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളോട് പറയട്ടെ let me tell you ആരാധനയിലാണ് ദൈവപ്രസാദം ഉണ്ടാകുന്നത് it is in the presence of god in the worship that you receive the favor of god ആരാധിക്കുന്നവന് വേണ്ടിയാണ് ദൈവം വാഗ്ദത്തവുമായി ഇറങ്ങി വരുന്നത് god will surely come down for the people who worship him ആരാധിക്കുന്നവന് വേണ്ടിയാണ് വിധയും കൊയ്ത്തുമുള്ളത് god has prepared a seat time and harvest for the person who worships him yet not the you mark but the worship that god desires should be ulla dilinn it is to take out of the clean things etra per ramen parayam amen let's say amen should be ulla dilinn the clean ഞാൻ രണ്ട് പേരെ നിങ്ങളുടെ മുമ്പിൽ കൊണ്ടുവരട്ടെ let me bring two people before you ഉൽപ്പത്തി പുസ്തകം നാലാം അധ്യായം 1 മുതൽ 7 വരെ genesis chapter 4 verse 1 to 7 വേദത്തിൽ ആ വാക്യങ്ങൾ എടുക്കുക very quickly look to that ഉൽപ്പത്തി നാലാം അധ്യായം book of genesis chapter 4 1 മുതൽ 7 verse 1 to 7 അന്നത്തെ മനുഷ്യൻ തന്റെ ഭാര്യയായ ഹൗവയെ പരിഗണിച്ചു അവൾ ഗർഭം ധരിച്ചു കൈയിനെ പ്രസവിച്ചു യഹോവയാൽ എനിക്ക് ഒരു പുരുഷ പോയ ലഭിച്ചു എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു പിന്നെ അവൻ അവൾ അവന്റെ അനുജനായ ഹാബേലിനെ പ്രസവിച്ചു ഹാബേൽ ആട്ടിടയിലും കായും കൃഷിക്കാരനുമായിരുന്നു കുറെ കാലം കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് കായും നിലത്തെ അനുഭവത്തിൽ നിന്ന് ഹോബയ്ക്ക് ഒരു വഴിപാട് കൊണ്ടുവന്നു ഹാബേലും ആട്ടിൻ കൂട്ടത്തിൽ കടിഞ്ഞൂലുകളിൽ ഒന്ന് അവയുടെ മേധസ്സിൽ നിന്ന് തന്നെ ഒരു വഴിപാട് കൊണ്ടുവന്ന യഹോവ ഹാബേലിലും അവന്റെ വഴിപാടിലും പ്രസാദിച്ചു കായിലും അവന്റെ വഴിപാടിലും പ്രസാദിച്ചില്ല 
പിടിപ്പിക്കുന്നു ഇപ്പോഴും അവൻ എത്ര വലിയ മഹാപാപി എന്റെ രക്തത്താൽ കഴുകി വിമോചിപ്പിക്കുന്നു ഉടൻ 
നുണവില്ല നുണവിലേക്ക് to rise up from revival to revival സഹോദരങ്ങളെ my brothers and sisters ഉണർവിനെ അയക്കുന്നത് ദൈവമാണ് it is god who sends the revival പക്ഷെ ദൈവം അയച്ച ഉണർവിനെ നിലനിർത്തുന്നത് നമ്മളാണ് but we are supposed to sustain the revival that god sends to us എത്രയോ സഭകളിൽ ഈ രാജ്യത്തിൽ ദൈവം ഉണർവിനെ അയച്ചു many times the lord has sent revival in this land എത്രയോ സഭകളിൽ ഉണർവിനെ അയച്ചു many churches the lord sent the revival എന്നാൽ ആ ഉണർവിനെ അവർക്ക് നിലനിർത്താൻ പറ്റിയില്ല none of those people could sustain the revival our vision change their vision change and now they would say let me tell you ഇങ്ങനെ പച്ചപ്പുള്ളവും വെട്ടിലും തുള്ളലും നശിപ്പിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാലത്തിൽ നിന്ന് കൊയ്ത്തിന്റെ ഹാർവസ്റ്റിന്റെ ഒരു കാലത്തിൽ നിൽക്കാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്ന ഈ യു എസ് ഐ ഈ ടാലസ് എന്റെ കർത്താവ് വൻ കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യും 
And but we have given this up to the pastor for him to do it alone. Hallelujah. You need to remember. You should not forget this great responsibility. Amen. 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 Once when we had gone to Ireland together as a family for ministry. And the Vilias Pastor GGP Mohan. Pastor GGP Mohan, who is my spiritual son, who ministers with me. When I ordained him and made him the assistant pastor of the church. And I'm talking about just one person. I can speak like this about many other people. And when I was in Dublin, I received the phone call from Pastor GG. And he called me to tell me about his father passing away who was 52 years old. It was a Saturday morning. And he was crying over the phone. And told, he told me, Pastor, my father went to be with the Lord. I cannot bear the pain. And I started to pray for him with tears. And I started to pray for him with tears. And I told him, son, leave every responsibility in the church for a week. Take off. Go to your house. Take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. He told me, pastor, you are not here in town. And you have given this responsibility to me. I said, son, no, you need to go to your house. And uh, we prayed, hung up the phone. And that evening also I called him and comforted him. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. As our service was being telecasted live. I was watching our service in India from my iPad in Ireland. And I, uh, I gave the service to a couple other people in the midst of that. As I was, uh, as I turned up live telecast in my iPad and went to wash my face, Pastor Gigi I was hearing Pastor Gigi speak. I ran up to the screen. And the servant of God was standing there leading the church. The father's body was still at his house. The servant of God came to the church and he was leading the worship. Uh, isn't it loyalty? After the worship service, he left for the funeral. And uh, he told me, my father is there where he is supposed to be. But this responsibility that the Lord has given to me is much more important than that. Comfort zone. God cannot use a person who will not leave their comfort zone. And you might say that after taking care of everything that I have, I will do something for the Lord. Gather the people. Call together the elders. Come out of the rooms. And if it is so, the word of God teaches us. Joel chapter 2 verse 18. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, mm. Yes. Two verse 28 onwards. And it shall come to pass afterward. Yes. When the church comes together. If the church consecrates themselves. Yes. I will pour out. My spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your 
ഭൂമി പച്ചപ്പൊഴി വെട്ടിലും തുള്ളലും നശിപ്പിച്ച ദാവി സമയത്തിന് പകരമായി നീ എന്നെ സർവ്വത്സരങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ട് അനുഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത്